Hi everyone, so you're seeing this before starting the video uh, because I just couldn't post and not address what's going on in the world. Um, to be honest, I was just gonna altogether postpone today's video and not post it. Uh, but then I was thinking to myself, I might have an audience here and um, that I don't have on my Instagram. Um, and I promised myself to be a better ally and for being a better ally, I have to speak about it. Being silent, I'm just postponing things and not talking about it is not going to solve the issues that we have right now. So I wanted to upload today's video, but I didn't want it to be just about fashion and beauty in my daily life when we have something so huge going on in the entire world, specifically here. Um, and I didn't want to postpone it because I didn't want it to be too late because we've been silent for so long that it is not the time to be silent anymore. So I wanted to start off the video by acknowledging what is happening in the world and how I feel and uh, where do I stand. Um, so if you're following me on Instagram, you've been seeing me posting about things, sharing links and everything and the devastating news of um, what happened to George Floyd. As most of you, I'm not shocked. We've seen this so many times happening. I honestly get goosebumps and emotional talking about it because I might not be a woman of color and I know my white privileges, but it breaks my heart to see another human being treated like that. Just a little background, I never talk about politics on my channel, on my Instagram, never ever, because I come from a very diverse background. I'm Armenian, I was born and raised in Iran, and I moved here when I was 19. So that's why I never get involved in politics, but this is not about politics whatsoever. This is about human rights, and this is why I'm speaking about it. I never talk about any kind of political thing, I don't ever share my opinion, because as I said, I come from a very diverse background, and no matter what I say and what my opinion is, I'm gonna hurt an area of my background. So that's why I don't ever talk about it. But this is about human rights. And when I moved here in 2009, um, I had to educate myself a lot to learn how to speak, to be respectful, to be considerate, to have sympathy, to understand because I would never understand how my friends of color feel. I would never understand it. Even to remotely say, I can only imagine. I uh, the truth is, I would never be able to because of my because of my color of skin. So the only thing I can do is fight for your rights, fight for your privilege, so you have the same rights as I have. The video that I've been seeing um, some of my friends share. Um, on Instagram that honestly brings me to tears and I, I can't imagine living in so much fear and living in so much pain so as as an ally I want to be better at it I want to be more vocal about it because I always said be, besides fashion and beauty and lifestyle and home decor and all these things in the world that I try to inspire you I always hopefully can inspire you to be a kinder person to be a better person to educate yourself to learn to respect to 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 never ignore what is wrong and try to be better at it try to fix it so and I just want to be a better ally and I would highly, 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 highly encourage you to do as well because only with all of us being united together, we can make a change. So do better. Let's all of us do better. Let's all educate ourselves. I didn't mean this to start off this video in a, such a sad note, but unfortunately what is happening needs to be talked about. And as I said, I was gonna completely skip this video and not even upload it. Um, but then I was like, it's gonna be too late. Even though I've been talking about it over on my Instagram and sharing links and everything, but I wanted it to be here as well um, in case there's an audience here that I don't have over there. So let's all of us do better and be the change that we want We want to happen. All of us can do something. I'm gonna let you continue watching the video. Um, 
I hope it's a little bit of a light in the situation. Um, it's gonna be a very long vlog, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and as I said again, let's do better. I will link the donation and the petition links for you guys in the description box below for sure. Make sure to check that out and do whatever you can. Let all of us be a better ally. And I, I want to fight for my friends of color. I want them to feel in peace. I want them to feel comfortable and I want them to um, have happiness. I'm gonna let you go ahead and watch the video. Um, and again, don't forget to check the links in the description box below. You had me at low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. You can ride out of the blue. I wanna do what you want to. good morning everyone if you're new here because i see some of you guys are new um, my name is blair welcome to my channel we do all sorts of beauty fashion lifestyle home decor and all sorts of videos so don't forget to subscribe so you're here for the long run um as you can see i'm in a very good mood it's a beautiful day outside i wish i could go to the beach honestly that's one thing i miss about um this whole quarantine thing going outdoors <laughs> it's a beautiful day as i said um i've been doing a lot of work this morning like a lot um i even went to photo shoot i took a couple of pictures because i bought few items from um, asos and i just wanted to have a um, pictures in them and post it for you guys so that's what i did um and then i still have tons of emails to get to um yesterday was the day after long weekend and i was very slow so i didn't get to my emails um but that's why they're all piling up from yesterday and today and like the friday before the um long weekend so i have a lot of emails to get to uh but before doing all of that i want to make this uh, date edible like date balls i don't know what are they called um i like i saw lydia and um carrie were making them and then i was on pinterest looking for healthy sweets to make and these were one of them so i want to make those and what else do i want to do today i have to go to target i have to pick up an order and i have to drop off my car by my friend's house because tomorrow she's getting a car wash one of those mobile ones and we live nearby so i have to drop off my car by her house so they can wash both of our cars and what else that's the plan for today and obviously like just a little bit of work things i have to edit tomorrow's video as well so i have a little bit of editing to do uh, but yeah it's gonna be a chill day it's almost noon actually like i think it's like 12 o'clock um but that's the action of the plan um i'm very hungry um and we don't have food so my mom kindly offered to go to subway to get a sandwich for us so we're gonna have that for lunch and then i'm gonna make the things date balls i don't know what are they called um with you guys i've never made them this is my first time so yeah um hopefully if it'll be a success it won't be as bad i absolutely love date like every night when i'm having my tea i will always go for the date instead of chocolate even though i absolutely love chocolate but the dates mm, so good and they're healthy you don't feel guilty for eating them but it might be the reason that my face is breaking out i'm trying to figure out why is my face breaking out is it the banana that i'm eating is it the dates i don't know is it dairy or is it because it's that time of the month i don't know why my face is breaking out my flowers are going bad i've had these flowers for like two and a half three weeks almost yeah 
they're going bad. I have to get a new bunch. But yeah, that's that. A lot of businesses are opening, which is exciting. Um, I've heard Ventura County and San Diego are already open. The bars, the restaurants, everything is back to normal. Which, although I don't know what is our new normal, like. I forgot how to dress up to go out to dinner. I can't wait for that day, honestly. Uh, so for now, let me go work a little bit and I will be right back to do another episode of Chef Blair together. <laughs> so they're called bliss balls <laughs> coconut date bliss balls i think that's what they're called um we will just call them bliss balls as well hopefully i'm correct so what i did let me show it to you guys so what i did i put my cashews and dates in the water overnight um, because this is gonna help them blend better they're gonna be a little bit softer you can put it in warm water for like an hour or so as well but i put it in like a regular water overnight and you need some sort of like food processor or like whatever that you can mix things in with i totally forgot to mention too you have to take the seeds um out of the dates as well unless your dates don't have seeds in them but yeah don't forget to take the seeds out how i miss the sun missing all the They didn't come at all equal. I was supposed to have 12. I think I have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, now they're supposed to be 12. I did 11. Some of them are a little bit big and some of them are not the perfect round, but whatever. Uh, I have to put them in a the freezer for them to get hardened a little bit, then put them in a the fridge. So, and that's what I'm gonna do. Good afternoon, everyone. I am on my way to go pick up my order from Target. It is so hot. I'm loving the weather, but I really wish our pool was ready because it's really hot. But yeah, I am on my way to go pick up my order from Target. I placed it yesterday and it was ready today. I just bought like random bits and bobs that I need like few makeup stuff i'll show you guys what i'm getting i was gonna go stop by starbucks to pick up um myself a passion fruit tea lemonade um but then i was like iced coffee is a better option and i can make iced coffee at home um so yeah one thing i've noticed during this quarantine that i'm home more and i don't like drive to meetings and stuff don't go to restaurants is definitely how much money i'm spending on food outside which is like, I'm not, it's something I've never thought about. Um, I obviously always, uh, this is what I've learned ever since I was young. I always budget myself. I put a budget for my restaurants on a monthly basis, like shopping, like all the things I just budget myself always. And just like that, like that, I don't ever go overboard. Um, and by always, I mean most of the times. Just a little tip, if you're like me and you are an overspender and you shop online a lot, um, just always budget yourself. And I've noticed how much less money I spend obviously eating out. Um, we still get food from outside, but it is obviously not as much as it was before. Um, just got to Target. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm gonna go home. Uh, actually, I'm gonna just drop off my car by my friend's house. They're like literally 
one minute walk from our house like they're literally our neighbor i'm just gonna drop off my car there and give my keys to her because tomorrow we're getting a car wash and they're coming to their house um so i'm just gonna drop off my car there so it can be washed because my car is absolutely dirty it's like it's disgusting how nasty it is i have no idea even how many months has it been ever since i washed my car so I'm gonna drop off my car there and I'm gonna just pick up random bits that I have in my car um, I have a few Walmart returns that I had to do but every time I go by Walmart the line is so long that I'm like I just can't so um, I'm just gonna pick those up and put it in the back so the person can just clean up the car um, so I'll see you guys back at home just took them out of freezer and i put them in this glass container um they did harden up so they're not as um like soft as they used to be um and now i'm just gonna put it in the fridge i just put a couple of them out for me to try out with my coffee right now and do a taste test and the rest of them i'm gonna put them in the fridge in this glass so I have tomorrow okay so I just got home and I want to show you guys what I got from Target. So first things first, the Soap and Glory um, scrub. This is the breakfast scrub. Um, I absolutely love this for removing the tan, just generally speaking, even if you're not tanning, just to remove any um, like dead skin. One of my favorites. And then I got Dove. Um, Spray. Um, I got it in two cents. I always go for this one, the dry spray invisible one. Um, this doesn't have any like sheer fresh. This one, um, but I saw that they had this one, which I don't even know what is the scent of it. It says beauty finish. And I saw this. I was like, let me just get this. It doesn't smell. It just smells fruity. So I got two of those because summer is coming. Um, I wanted to try out a new eyebrow pencil um, because my um, Revlon, not Revlon, the Maybelline one works really good. But I feel like it's a little bit dark, especially now that I have a little bit of a lighter hair. And I want to try something else. So I bought the Revlon um, eyebrow pencil in the color 210, soft brown. Um, I don't know if this will be too light for my eyebrows because my eyebrows naturally are dark. So I was thinking when I add a little bit too too much of a dark pencil is just too bold so i was thinking if i use a lighter color it might not be as bold and goes better with my hair we will see just a regular eyebrow pencil so we'll see how it goes then i got two brushes um both of them from elf i got a foundation brush and a concealer brush um the reason being is because i started mixing a lot of my foundations one because i can never find my exact match so i just always mix colors and when i mix them i usually mix them in, on my back of my hand and my brush is too big to like spread it around so i just bought a foundation brush so i can just mix them and like paint them on my face and then go in with my beauty blender so that's why and the elf ones are super inexpensive i think each of them were like three or four dollar and then i got this elf concealer brush the reason that i got a concealer brush is because on the days that i want my makeup to be a little bit heavier compared to the other days like on the days that i'm doing a photo shoot or something i want it to stay heavy i feel like when i do it with the beauty sponge the beauty sponge takes it away and i just wanted a like small brush so i can just push the product into my skin first and then go over it with the beauty blender i don't know if this is this does make sense or it's actually how it's supposed to be but i've seen speed youtube videos that that's what they're doing so that's why i got it so that's that mm, i got an um, elf concealer in the color light sand really love that um febreze air freshener in the smell linen and sky and that's it tomorrow i want to organize my um hair and skincare uh, basket because it's a mess like i pile things up 
um so it's just a mess like i need to bring it out and organize it so that's what i'm going to do tomorrow um because for today i want to um edit a few pictures um i absolutely love the pictures that i did today i don't know if i told you guys or not i went for a shoot so i want to edit those pictures and get them ready to be uploaded i'll see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early pool update for you guys the primer is in um they still haven't finished that area so they're gonna finish up the primer today and next week the blue color will go in and since the weather is so nice i'm just walking around outside and drinking my coffee good morning everyone we have me still in the pjs and it's like around i think nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> um i've been working in my pjs today um i was just starting to get ready for the day i woke up i was in a mood to write so i've been writing tons of blog posts the entire morning um last week i didn't upload any blogs even though i was writing but i just didn't finish them i kept writing and i didn't like them i think i was talking in my previous vlog that sometimes like you need to take a break as a creative person and when you push yourself to work when your mindset is not in a place to work it's just you're not happy with your work and that was my situation last week it's just i wasn't happy with it so basically i stopped writing but then this morning i woke up i was like i'm in such a good mood to write um so that's what i've been doing um i think i showed you guys the pool update this morning as well let me grab my toner so i can do my skincare and talk to you guys if not we will be sitting here forever i'm gonna use the pixie um toner the glow tonic um what was i saying um yeah i showed you guys the um pool update this morning and the primer started going in yesterday so hopefully by end of today the primer will be done and then they said they have to leave it like that for like three days so probably the weekend they're gonna take it off and then um probably next week they're gonna come in to do the blue paint and then the upcoming week we will have a ready poo for the summer so that makes me very very happy i'm just gonna wait for a few seconds for this to dry i actually have my fan that i can use when you're in a rush and you have a face mask on you want your face mask to dry use one of these fans as well it just dries out your mask so quickly and i use it in between my skincare as well you guys know i layer on like seven products on top of each other but i always make sure the bottom like the bottom layer is dry then i put on um, another layer but yeah toner out i'm gonna use serum i'm using the summer friday one um i was talking to one of my blogger friends and she uses this as well and i was asking her if her um, makeup pulls off every time she uses this and she said no so i'm so confused on what's happening uh i'm doing a no makeup makeup day today i mean i will still wear makeup but like not foundation i'll do tinted moisturizer uh but um yeah i don't know what what it is so i'm just giving this another try i mean i'm almost halfway done with the bottle because i use it on no makeup days um but i unable to use it on the days that i'm wearing makeup but this was the product that brightened out all of my breakouts here from like years and years ago and as you guys can see i'm having a lot of breakouts right now they're drying out thankfully um but um yeah i started using that again so it can brighten all these little things i have been absolutely loving this saint tropez facial mist it gives out the most beautiful glow and my makeup goes on top of it very smoothly so been loving that i'm gonna use my laura mercier tinted moisturizer one thing that i've majorly changed in my um, makeup routine in the past like couple of days is i'm not using primer 
that might be against the rules but I have noticed I'm mixing two colors I'll link both of them for you guys in the description box below because I'm not sure which color I am so I just mix two colors um, but yeah I've noticed that every time I'm using primer especially the pore filling ones like a smoothing ones my skin gets a little bit dry I don't know why like maybe that's not the case I mean it is the case because I've noticed it in the past two days that I don't wear primer my skin is so much better I don't know what it is um, I have less of a texture underneath my eyes I have less of a texture on my nose which is my prim problematic area I don't know what is happening but yeah I am not um, using primers so I don't know if that's against the rules but I'm going with no primer for a while and we'll see how that will work out I bought my um, elf um, concealer yesterday and I think I got the wrong color I was supposed to get medium sand and I got the light sand this is gonna be probably very white Oh yes. Okay. I'm just gonna add just a little bit. And then I'm gonna use this brush that I showed you guys yesterday. The e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm gonna use this. Oh, this is not dense at all. I'm gonna use this to disturb the oh my god, this is very white. Hopefully when I brown them all of that. It will not be as bad. And by the way, this brush is not good. It is not doing what I wanted it to do. So I'm just going to go in with my big old foundation brush. And just blend it out. I'm in a desperate need of new lipsticks. Because all the ones that I have, I don't like them anymore. Let's try this. This is a pretty color. This is from a brand called Gade. And this is their color 768 Idealist. It's a pretty color. Now let's try out this Revlon pencil. You guys have no idea how much I can't wait for the um, salons to be open so I can get my eyebrows microbladed again because I'm really bad at doing brows. Oh, it is angled and it is not very thin. This will be interesting. Um, I'm not going to talk while I'm doing my eyebrows. Oh my god, why am I itching? Um, because you guys know I'm horrible at doing my eyebrows, so I'm just going to do them and give you guys the final review. Oh, this brush is really good. By my side, I can't sleep already tried, but still I dream away. I think it came out nice. Um, the spoolie is absolutely amazing. Um, the pen is a little bit thicker than my um, Maybelline one. The Maybelline one is super thin. Like it's teeny tiny, so it's obviously easier to do my eyebrows, but this one has a thicker um, edge. Um, but it was not bad. Uh, I mean, honestly, the eyebrow situation, I might do a really bad job and I'll be like, oh my god, I did such a good job. But that good job is for, for someone like me. Because I'm really bad at doing my eyebrows. But looking at them, they're not bad. And I actually like the color of this one better. This is in the color um, 210 Soft Brown. I like this better than my other one. It is not as harsh. I like it. We're having an organization day at home. I want to clean out my um, beauty baskets that I was telling you guys yesterday. So um, my vanity is a very messy situation here and I can't find anything. I tried to clean it up as I was doing my makeup. But I'm going to really quickly clean this area and then um, get dressed for the day. So it's from my PJs and I'll speak to you guys as soon as I'm dressed. Oh, amazing. And then I'm just gonna put my watch. 
I've become such a watch person, which I wasn't. And we're ready for the day. I don't think in my yesterday's video, I even taste, tasted, <laughs> taste, tested um, these uh, bliss balls that I made. We're down to literally five. And I made like 11, I think, yesterday. Uh, but we had some yesterday with tea at night and I'm gonna have some this morning I haven't had breakfast yet and I'm having my second cup of coffee they are so good mm. amazing the only thing is while I was making them I think I added too much water so they're not as hard as they're supposed to be but still perfect i don't know if i told you guys but i kept them in a the freezer for like 30 minutes and then just put this in this glass container and put it in the fridge they're so good and the fact that i know it's not bad for me also wanted to show you guys the flowers that i still kept them alive um if you remember it was like i think like two weeks ago two and a half weeks ago that i got these flowers um two of them i was not able to save but these ones are still thriving this is my very messy basket that i have to organize this is unbelievable like how did it get this messy Hey Google, play the latest episode on the Skinny Confidential podcast. Okay, here's the latest episode of the Skinny Confidential Him and her podcast. If you want another cold and rainy night without you lying by my side, I can't sleep already. Tried, but still I dream away. Thinking about the way it was, my baby, just the two of us. We had it all. I know this doesn't look organized and there's still a lot of products here but this is the most organized I could make it so I put all the body products here scrub and like lotions and stuff and then we have all the body oils I know excessive amount of body oils that then we have deodorant um, these are new deodorant that I'm trying out this one is a clean beauty I'm just testing it out um, this one I've been using it for a while now and it works during winter but during summer I'm having a hard time with it and then I have all the hair products here I know that's a lot um, but I organize them in a way that I can actually use them I totally forgot I even have this this is an absolutely amazing overnight um, serum sorry I'm out of breath um, I totally forgot I even have this so um, I made it a little bit more organized so I can see what I have and these are all the products that I absolutely love and I actually use them um, so now they're all organized I'm running out of my Gizu oil I put an order on Revolve hopefully by end of this month I will receive it so this is all organized I even organized the hair um, wrap and my shower caps i all keep all of them here because you guys know i'm not a huge fan of washing my hair and when i shower on um, days that is not a hair wash day i just use one of these caps i get them from home goods that's the best place to get but amazon has a ton too so my under sink um, baskets are all organized now it's finished up um all the organization i throw away so much product i know it didn't seem like it but I did throw away a lot of products. Um, I am wearing the same dress actually that I will show you guys I think a couple of vlogs ago. This dress is at this point surgically attached to me because it's hot. And this dress is pretty comfortable. So I'm just going to keep wearing it. I actually did a huge order on H&M. I've been loving H&M style recently. Like, um, I mean, not that I didn't before, but before I used to have a little bit of a hard time finding items that I actually like. And now um, they have a lot of great selections. I put a huge order. There's not a lot of fashion, mostly bedding and home, because I'm thinking of changing a little bit of bedding. Not that I want to, but um, 
as you guys can tell I have white bedding and I do everything on my bed I just cleared out an entire basket there and it gets stained really quickly even though I can clean it out and I do clean it out but I just wanted to have like a couple of backups and I was looking for something a little bit more chic and having a little bit of a texture on it so I saw a couple of them on H&M that I really liked so I ordered those obviously when they come I'll unbox it with you guys um, yeah and while I was shopping for bedding I saw a few dresses uh, I'm very much into dresses recently as you guys can tell they're just easy comfortable you put on the dress and just you look just good so, I don't know why am I so out of breath I think I'm trying to talk fast so I don't ramble on because I was editing my vlog that is gonna go live today and I ramble on like I can talk and my sisters always make fun of me for that they're like you can ramble on for a very like little short story you can get to the point but when you are telling a story you go in too much details and you can ramble on and I always like we joked about it but while I'm editing these vlogs I can notice that I can ramble on I have to finish up today's video I have to put the description box on all of that so I have to work a little bit so I'll do those things and have to actually take a picture I want to take a picture with that mirror that I just showed you guys um, I will do all of those little tasks and probably I will see you guys in a little bit Another cold and rainy night Without you lying by my side I can't sleep already tried But still I dream away Thinking about the way it was But baby, just the two of us We had it all, but we got lost With nothing left to say Days turned into It is 5pm, so it is wine time I've been looking forward to this the entire day I'm gonna put you guys here I already got my glass with my ice cubes I always like my rosé with ice cubes and I'm gonna drink this rosé um, I honestly don't know what do you call this Cote de Rose I'm horrible, I'm not gonna try even it is so beautiful, it has the most beautiful roses underneath with the glass cork, it's such a chic and bougie bottle and if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys know how much I love this rosé this and Mirabel are my favorite ones just like why not? Cheers. Mm. I want to apply a face mask and a hair mask tonight, but I'm gonna leave it probably right before bedtime um, because I don't wanna leave on my hair mask for more than like eight hours. And if I do it now until tomorrow, I have to work out and then wash my hair. It's gonna be more than like 12 hours and I don't want that I just want to leave it like literally 8 hours no more than that so probably I'll leave that um, tonight right before bed uh, but I'm gonna wash my face now and put a face mask on and then before bed we will put the hair mask on together but for now I'm gonna just enjoy this glass of rosé because I earned it myself a salad basically oh the sun right in my eye this is my salad it's basically lettuce crouton Caesar dressing and a little bit of cheese like the sun is literally in my eye but can you believe I absolutely love it this is one of the things that I absolutely love about our house the sun in the afternoon Probably my makeup looks really crappy. My tan looks really good. Loving it. <laughs> Can you guys tell I'm really obsessed with this tan? So yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and have my glass of wine, eat my salad, and I'm catching up on my YouTube videos. So a very chill evening. And I will see you guys for our nighttime routine. We have a very sleepy me right now. I just washed up my makeup. It is, I think, like 
10 at night almost my bedtime <laughs> but i wanted to do a face mask and hair mask um so i'm gonna do that with you guys i want to try out i remember i used this before it's a hair night um it's a nourishing and taming overnight serum um you do not if i remember this correctly you do not need to wash this the next day you can just style so let me read um apply on dry or damp hair before bedtime spread a pump into hands and distribute the product evenly on tips uh, adopt the quantity to suit the hair length and thickness in the morning style hair directly yeah you don't have to wash this uh, i'm gonna put it at this end here um, you can wash it or if you choose not to wash it, you can go ahead and do it. I honestly don't remember if I washed it before I didn't wash it. So we're going to put a little bit on my hair and we'll see tomorrow morning how does it work. So this much. These are my like broken pieces that I have a lot of issue with. I think I would prefer to apply a lot and wash my hair in the morning because I already it's my like hair wash day tomorrow so I don't mind applying a little bit more and washing it tomorrow morning because I don't think I can restyle this <laughs> so I will just leave it as is just a little bit for like this and um, before I go to bed I will just braid it and um, go to bed and wash it in the morning so yeah, that's what I will do. So now onto my face mask. I'm gonna use the Glam Glow face mask. You guys know how much I absolutely love this. I'm just gonna spritz my face with the Mario Badascu um, rose water, aloe herbs, and rose water. Yeah, because I just like to apply my face mask to a wet face. It's just personal preference. You want your skin to act as a sponge. I'm going to leave this on for like 15 minutes until it's completely dry, wash it off, put my hair in a little um, braid and then I'll go to bed. Good morning everyone. We have a very fresh me. I showered, I applied a new layer of fake tan and we're doing a no makeup day today because it's one of the most gloomiest days I've ever seen. So I was like... There's no point of putting makeup on. It's just gonna be a very chill day. Uh, but I washed my hair this morning. My hair feels so good. I don't know if you guys can tell. It even looks hydrated. It feels so good. If you go back and watch yesterday's video, you can see how dry it is. And now it feels absolutely amazing. I shared on my um, Instagram what are the new products I'm using. They're not all new, but um, I saved it in my hair highlights. So if you want, just go back and check that out. Um, I'm using most of the Alterna um, caviar collection. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, but those products, always when I use them, my hair feels so much better. I use the shampoo and conditioner, um, hair mask, the hair serum and the um, hair protectant um, and it just my hair feels absolutely amazing it's just like soft i can't keep like i keep touching it but yeah um just wanted to give you a hair update it feels really good um, the serum that i used last night if i didn't put my hair in a braid i could completely restyle it so it's not one of those hair serums that you have to wash it in the morning even though i put a very very generous amount on um, I didn't have to wash my hair if I didn't braid it um, because it was wet when I braided it. By the time I woke up this morning, I had curly hair, so I had to wash it. Um, but yeah, the serum was absolutely amazing. I I just love how my hair feels right now. I'm sorry, I keep touching it. I'm not going to touch it anymore. But um, yeah, that's the hair update. I saved all the products that I'm using in my hair highlight over on my Instagram. I will link it for you guys in the description box below in case you want to know exactly what I'm using. That my hair is loving because all of the products I'm using is towards damaged hair and towards repairing the damaged hair. 
so if your hair is like that go check that out i'll list all of them and um i just put a link where you can shop all of them as well just received the package from astro demu again i hope i'm saying that correctly it's a jewelry brand if you're unfamiliar with it and i just bought a new earring for this um piercing that i have here and i think one hoop if i remember it correctly so let's go unbox that they have the most adorable packaging i don't know what this is inside i'm sure i didn't order oh they sent out the bag how cute it's a shopping bag reusable one that's actually amazing because i was in need of one now let's get into these i absolutely love their boxes so cute well probably i'm gonna switch this one to this it's so cute it's literally this one it's the exact similar of this one but i just wanted this one to be like that too i love the garland look and these are the little mini hoops that i got they're so tiny like this is how small they are they're so adorable i only changed the hoop because i need help to changing this one out but here is the hoop i'm not sure if you guys can see it um these are my hoops from nordstrom and these are the new ones i hope the camera is focusing it so you guys can see i'm gonna close up this video right now because it's gonna be a very chill day um and nothing not much is about to happen uh, i'm just gonna chill it's such a gloomy day it's like a netflix and cup of coffee kind of day so i'll see you guys on my next video bye